Hi everybody, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to class. Uh, today, before we go into the lecture, I just want to say something very briefly about art, what art means to you, to everybody. Now, for the benefit of those who are watching me on the internet, you know, anywhere in the world, on TV, anywhere, I recently was in an interview with a reporter from Global News and uh, he asked me what art means to me. What do you see about art? What can you see about art in general? Now, I said this to him and everywhere I had the opportunity to talk about art. I said, art or painting, uh, fashion design, graphics, sculpture making, textile making, any form of art. To me, it's like a freedom. Art gives me freedom to express myself. That is what art does. It gives me freedom to be who I want to be. Now, in every other profession, you have a kind of rules and regulation, guidance on how to do things. But basically, when it comes to art, art gives you the freedom to be you, to be you, to be you, to be free. For example, when you're painting, you don't have any kind of rules and regulation that binds you. Do's and don'ts. Because when you are painting, Jumanji, when you are painting, Jumanji, sorry, you paint with your brush and the colors, and then you express yourself. Even at times, you can't say what you're doing, but by your strokes of brush on the canvas, on the board, you are expressing freedom. You are doing what you like. You are bringing out some creativity. You are like God. Because God created the whole universe. So when you paint, you are like a small God. You are bringing about something creative, you are doing something beautiful, something different. And that is why it's so beautiful. I said to people, I said, in the work of art, there is nothing called mistake. You don't make mistake in art. You don't make mistake. Every stroke of the brush or pencil or charcoal or chalk pastel or acrylic on your canvas or your board or a chisel on a wood carving something, it is not an error, it is the design. Every turn you take in heart is a design. So, and I want to encourage you that every one of you, you've got potentials. You can do something. Yours might be pencil, yours might be drawing, yours might be jewelry, yours might be fashion, yours might be you know, singing, acting, whatever you're doing. I want to encourage you to push forward. Don't give up your dream. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep you know, painting, keep drawing, keep singing, keep doing it. Because one day, you know, the old world will come and watch you born when you catch the fire. So today we're going to be doing something different, we're going to be doing something unique. Now, this I've never done before. What we're going to be doing in class today, I've never done it before. Jumani, I've never done it before. Yesterday I was just in my car, I was driving, and I was thinking, what am I going to teach in class today? What am I going to tell the student what I'm going to do in class today? And that idea just came to my mind. Okay, why don't you just do something like a kind of a, a chess board or a draft board or something, but with a different, with a different twist. So I thought, okay, how are you going to do it? And that idea just keep coming. And that's how it works with me. You know, I, something comes in form of an idea, drop in my mind, and then it enlarges, it enlarges. I take time to emerge, to ruminate. And then I come up with the idea, you know what? Today we're going to do something called freedom of expression. Be who you want to be in art. You've got your acrylics and your brush and your you know, white paper mounted on the board. You're just going to print, you know, paint like, you can paint a rainbow, you can paint a, you can paint anything. Just try and do different strokes on your paper and then afterwards we'll dry it and then we'll cut them into a kind of small cube and then we're going to arrange them on this board, you know, in different patterns and afterwards it's going to come out something beautiful. So today, be free. Be who you want to be on this paper, you know. Strike, you know, express yourself. Be free. Don't be impeded. Don't don't let it stop you from who you want to be. So today I want to see, you know, your mind on the paper, your, your, your kind of ideas, your kind of creative ideas, how you can mix colors, how you can let the colors you know flow, and afterwards we'll cut them into bits and pieces and then we'll arrange them on this blackboard and it becomes some kind of a moral or some kind of decoration for your house. So have a wonderful time today in class and this is to you all viewers 
the season two of Pedro Project is coming to an end and season three is coming very soon. So I want to encourage you to go on our webpage www.studiocprospects.ca and register and be part of the summer class here in Studio C. We're waiting for you. Thank you and we'll see you. I love you. So let's